Hi, this is Mark Newman, Chief Analyst at Tim Forum, here with you, day three of DTW Ignite. Please be joined by Apostolos from uh, Etia and uh, Apostolos, I hope you've had a good show so far. Uh, it's been very good, actually. Very busy. Great, great. I think this is my 20th show. Wow. So Not that you're counting. Not that I'm counting. So I want to talk to you briefly today about um, the whole issue around customer loyalty, churn retention. It, it's always been a challenge for our industry. Yeah, how do you see efforts from the industry today to, to better manage loyalty, uh, loyalty offers, reduction of churn? Are we doing a good job? I, I think in general as an industry, we have from a very early stage been very focused on retention. Yeah. I think this is one of the only industries where you have departments like loyalty management, customer value management, churn management. So I think as an industry, we've always been very conscious of the cost of adding a new yeah. subscriber, the cost of losing a subscriber. And so um, you've seen lots of effort to uh, make offers more personalized, yeah, to yeah. make experiences more yeah, personalized, yeah, yeah. and to try and build retention yeah. strategies. Yeah, yeah. Um, that really hasn't changed. I think what's quite evident nowadays, though, is that there are other industries that are much better at it. Yeah, absolutely. Than, than, so than so if we can just drill down into those personalized offers, yes. are, are we seeing operators globally move in that direction? From what you're seeing, again, are those personalized offers working? Are they increasing retention? Do we need to improve, do things differently, better? We definitely need to improve. I do think that there are, you know, that, that there is um, clearly, you know, there is a payoff. You do see that retention strategies are working. Um, I do see the impact of more personalized real-time offers, but I think we've got a long, long way to go yeah. until we get to that stage yeah. where you're really in touch yeah. with, with the customer yeah. You're sort of proactively, you know, sending offers, yeah. making recommendations. I think a lot of the data is there. I think a lot of the tools exist, but we've still got a long way to go before, yeah. you know, they really uh, start. And AI and Gen AI have been, been huge themes this year. And it's a little bit of a gift, I guess, to a uh, to customer loyalty. I mean, are, are, are we starting to use AI in these personalized services Yet, is it happening now? Is it happening in the future? Do you see it making a big change? Talking about Etia, yeah. uh, we, we have uh, a number of use cases around the world. One in Canada with a, a, a mobile digital operator called Fizz, which has no customer service agents. Yeah. So there, they're using our AI platform to basically communicate with subscribers through machine learning and natural language processing. So you do see um, you know, the, the, the ability to both minimize cost, right? Because they don't need hundreds of people in a, in a call center, but also to respond much faster to um, consumer wants, desires. And uh, we, we do certainly see that in practice. And, and I guess physics, I mean, I guess it's almost like, I guess, an app, isn't it? You interact with it like an app. And so the the AI is used in terms of helping to build that relationship. You between. do, and there's a lot of gamification. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of incentives to, you know, post things on social media, to join communities, to gift data. Um, so that, that is all enabled through AI. We also have a customer that we, you know, we, we presented this week uh, alongside, which is TOG. It's an electric vehicle. Yeah, the Turkish uh, electric vehicle. Company, yeah. right? But they yeah. don't call it a vehicle, it's a device. Right. And right, a lot right. of their efforts and focus are around, again, using the AI platform to make the, the journey more of a wholesome experience that yeah. carries you know, from the minute you leave the house throughout the journey as well as post uh, journey. So again, they're using personalized offers. They're trying to make the experience much more targeted. Mm combining you know, all sorts of third-party services from you know, uh, applying for credit for a car to receiving yeah. you know, uh, credit to you know, getting insurance to enriching the whole in-journey experience with you know, art or with video or music. So I, I think there's a, a lot of examples of AI being used. And again, as a, as, a, as a partner to CSPs at Etia, I mean, you're embedding, I guess, AI in many, most, all of your products and capabilities. We are. We are. And th th there's a lot of talk about, you know, AI-driven right. BSS. And we, we do see that in practice. 
we do see it as a game changer. And I'm happy to say that, you know, more and more customers are embracing it and moving in that direction. Excellent. Well, Apostle, thank you so much for your thoughts. Thank you.